learning objectives. After completing this module, learners will be able to get a deeper understanding of how production is organized, understand the basic factors of production, differentiate between the physical and human capital, understand use of modern farming techniques to increase produce, point out reasons for soil losing fertility despite employing modern farming techniques. Explain reasons for uneven distribution of land amongst farmers of the same village. Understand why labourers migrate to other towns and cities. Understand and explain the nature of non-farming activities in villages. The Story of Village Palampur Overview Factors of Production the hypothetical village Palampur is a fairly well-developed village, well-connected with its neighbouring villages and towns by road. Some 450 families belonging to different castes reside in Palampur. The village has electricity and proper means of irrigation. There are two primary schools, a high school, a government-run primary health centre and a private dispensary. Like any other village in the country, farming is the dominant production activity along with some non-farming activities in Palampur. Organization of production. The main aim of production is to get the goods and services we require. Production essentially requires a combination of four factors, land, labor, physical capital and human capital. Land is the foremost requirement. It includes all gifts of nature like soil, water, forests, minerals, etc. Labor means the people who work to accomplish the production activities. This human effort can be physical or mental. Physical capital is the variety of inputs required at different stages of production. Physical capital can be fixed capital or working capital. Fixed capital includes tools, machinery, equipment, computers, turbines, generators, buildings, etc. Working capital includes raw material depending on the nature of production activity and money in hand to make payments or purchase material during production. Human capital is most important to make effective use of land, labor and physical capital. No production activity can be carried out without human intelligence, knowledge and enterprise. Farming in Palampur Fixed Land The well-being of farmers in Palampur or any other village depends solely on the farm produce. One way of increasing farm produce is to bring more land under cultivation. But there is no way to increase the fixed land area. In villages, sometimes waste land is converted into cultivable land. But beyond this, there is no scope of increasing land under cultivation. Is there a way one can grow more from the same land? Since Land is limited. There is a need to increase farm productivity by using modern farming techniques, machineries and high yield varieties of seeds. Availability of better irrigation facilities and electricity allows farmers to grow three crops a year. Electric run tube wheels irrigate larger areas compared to the traditional Persian wheel. Multiple cropping, a farming technique, helps increase farm productivity by growing two crops annually. Some also make way for a third crop. Farmers in Palampur grow wheat in winter, rabi and jawar and bajra in rainy season, kharif and grow potatoes as third crop from October to December. 
in late 1960s, the use of high yield variety of seeds for wheat and rice brought about the green revolution in India. Use of HYV seeds, however, required more irrigation and use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Modern machineries like tractors and threshers make ploughing and harvesting faster. Farmers of Punjab, Haryana and Western Uttar Pradesh were the first to follow modern farming methods in India. Land Sustain Distribution of Land Palampur Will the land sustain? Green revolution increased food production but it also caused certain problems. Use of fertilizers and pesticides for a long stretch of time has caused loss of soil fertility. Drawing groundwater for tubewell irrigation has reduced the water table below the ground. These environmental resources, once depleted, take long to restore. Care should be taken to make a balanced use of these resources. How is land distributed between the farmers of Palampur? There is an uneven distribution of land in Palampur. About one-third of the families are landless. The remaining population are medium farmers who own small plots of land. The plots are small because a large field is divided into smaller patches with each generation. Even with improved means of irrigation, modern farming techniques and modern machineries, small plots do not produce adequate yield. It may hardly meet family requirements. The question of surplus does not arise. This is the case in most villages in India. A handful of large farmers own large fields and medium farmers own small patches of land. The landless farmers suffer the most because they have to work on others' land. After the harvest season, they do not get any work on farms. They have to look for alternative sources to earn a livelihood. Labor Problem of Capital Surplus Farm Produce Who will provide the labor? After land, Labor is the most important factor of production. Small farmers usually cultivate their fields themselves with the help of their families. Large or medium farmers engage landless farmers or farmers having very small patch of land as labor. The laborers in return get wages which can be in cash or in kind. The wages vary from crop to crop region to region and from one farm activity to another. The duration of employment is uncertain. In Palampur, the work is less compared to the laborers available. The competition for work prevents them from getting the minimum wages set by the government. That is why some laborers choose to migrate to cities for work. Problem of Capital all categories of farmers require capital. Modern farming requires heavy investments on inputs, while the big farmers have surplus cash from savings. The small farmers mostly borrow money from large farmers. Local money lenders or traders supplying farming inputs to buy seeds, fertilizers and farm equipment. They pay a high rate of interest on these loans. Sale of surplus farm produce. Large and medium farmers are able to produce much more than their family needs. They sell the remaining produce in nearby markets for profit. What they sell after retaining for self-consumption is called the marketable surplus. Money earned through surplus sale helps them to invest more in fixed or working capital in subsequent years. Some farmers invest their money on non-farming activities for additional income. Non-farming activities in Palampur 
like Palampur, in most villages, about one fourth of its population is engaged in a variety of non-farming activities, which include dairy, the other common activity. Some farmers rear cattle like cows and buffaloes to sell milk and earn a little extra. They feed cows and buffaloes on different kinds of grass and jowar and bajra sown in the rainy season. The milk is mostly sold in nearby towns and villages. Small-scale manufacturing in Palampur In Palampur and all small villages people engaged in small-scale manufacturing like production of jaggery. They employ simple production methods using family labor. The manufacturing activities take place either at their home or in their fields. The Shopkeepers of Palampur In Palampur, people involved in trading buy goods from wholesale market and sell them to the villagers. Small retail stores sell a variety of daily use goods, stationery, medicines, cloth, etc. Some also sell eatables from small shops near bus stands. Most small villages have a similar setup. Transport, a fast developing sector. Some people earn through the business of transportation. They ferry people from Palampur village to nearby villages or towns. The common vehicle used are rickshaws, bullock carts, bogies, tongas, jeeps, tractors, and trucks. Other activities. People also earn through services. These may include giving tuitions, coaching at a computer center, haircutting, mobile repairing, etc. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The hypothetical village Palampur is a fairly well-developed village where farming is the dominant production activity along with some non-farming activities. The main aim of production is to get the goods and services we require. Production requires a combination of four factors, land, labor, physical capital and human capital. There is no way to increase the fixed land area. Since land is limited, there is a need to increase farm productivity by using modern farming techniques, machineries and high-yield varieties of seeds. In the late 1960s, the use of modern machineries, chemical fertilizers, educate irrigation facilities and high-yield variety brought about the Green Revolution in India. Use of fertilizers and pesticides for a long stretch of time has caused loss of soil fertility. The plots are small because a large field is divided into smaller patches with each generation. Large or medium farmers engage landless farmers or farmers having a very small patch of land as labor. Big farmers have surplus cash from savings. But small farmers mostly borrow money from large farmers, local money lenders or traders. Money earned through surplus sale helps farmers to invest more in fixed or working capital in subsequent years. People